Same kind of boat, same kind of waves. All mariners are asked to transit Bogue Inlet with extreme caution. And they got the same warning. Basically, the two scenarios are identical. The Coast Guard says looks can be deceiving here at the Bogue Inlet. Seems like a nice, tranquil place to put your feet in the water. But look a little further out at those white caps. That's what makes this area so dangerous for boaters. Five men took off for a fishing trip on Wednesday in a 20-foot skiff, not familiar with how the water works around the sound. I know it's rough because I've been out in it. Norman Bivens is familiar. He's seen plenty of tourists sail into the same trap. The waves are coming this way and they get set up for those waves and then they hit you from a different direction and you're not prepared for it. That's what the Coast Guard says happened to the fishermen who capsized on Friday and the other group who capsized Wednesday, but lucky for them. It was a good Samaritan who called in on Channel 16 that there had been a boat capsized. The Good Samaritan got two men out of the water. The Coast Guard rescued the other three. No major injuries, but guardsmen are hoping the two rescues will make boaters heed the warning. Three feet and five feet in the navigable channel. Height, like the wave height. The winds from southwest at 15 to 20 knots. The wind direction, the wind speed. There is currently a small craft advisory in effect. If there's any kind of watch warning or advisory in effect. In Carteret County, Carly Swain, News Channel 12 HD.